believe we're still in Tokyo. We are on Izu Oshima Island, which is technically a part of Tokyo. It took us like under two hours to get here. And I kind of think of it like the weekend getaway location. Yeah. So like in Canada, people will go to their cottages and you drive like two hours up north. Okay. A lot of people from Tokyo will come here to relax. It's not very touristy, but it has a lot of cool things. And you can step away from the hustle and bustle of crazy central Tokyo. The hustle and the bustle. Daka, 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 daka. More importantly, this is the island where Godzilla's body was dumped. I'm not joking here. There's a volcano and at the end of the movie, this is where they put Godzilla's body. They tried to kill him, but then the volcano ended up erupting and he escaped, which means Godzilla is somewhere on this somewhere island. Somewhere here. We're going to find Godzilla. We're going to stalk him like a crazy fan. We're going to be like, Godzilla! Oh, He's going to be like, no. Godzilla, we're coming for you. Coming for you. Coming for you, Godzilla. Coming for you, Godzilla. Coming for you. Oh. So yes, we did just do a video on sushi, but you know what? We're gonna make another video on sushi because we love sushi. Now we're not just going for any kind of sushi. We're going for a specialty sushi that you can only get on Oshima Island. That's pretty exciting because I feel like it's the kind of thing you're gonna eat and then dream about at nighttime and then be like, I guess we're gonna have to take a photo. You know what we should it. do? We should probably go to like every part of Japan and eat every kind of specialty sushi. And you know what? I like. I like this. Mm, good, mm -hmm, good, plan, so, good idea. Yes. Wow, I like eel, but deep fried? It's like buttery. Mmm. Mashed potatoes and fish. Yes. This is really good. This is like a, like an anti-up fish stick. Mmm. And now for the osusume. So this is what has been locally caught today, and this is the chef's choice for the best sushi. Oh my god. Surprise fish. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Today's word of the day is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this here is Beko sushi. This is a special sushi that's marinated in a chili oil. Sushi and spicy. I love it. Look at that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Okay, looks are we ready? Beautiful. Here we go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got a good bite to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I was worried that it was going to be like mega spicy. Mm -mm. It's it's a really nice balance actually. Oh yeah. Makes the fish really tender too. Because you could taste the vinegar in the rice. You know what? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back. Just for science. Just for science. We got to make sure. Let's do one more at least. Okay. Let's try 100%. This again. Mm -hmm. It's not a wasabi mm -hmm. kick either. And Orange it's subtle, egg. so don't mm -hmm. be, if you're afraid of spice, don't think this is oh, like no. Simon and Martin, the level scary spicy. Oh. This is really nice. This is lovely. Beck go, more like Beck pro. Oh. <laughs> Korean joke, get it? 100%? Huh? That was lame. But. Okay guys, we've got a story we want to tell you. Mm -hmm. So when we checked into our hotel in Oshima, it turns out that one of our rooms actually had a wasp infestation. And like really big ones like this. So we decided that we had to check out of our hotel right away. So we decided to find a, a guest house and that's how we came upon Suguru's guest house. Suguru. <laughs> so great. Definitely one of the best things about Suguru's place is all of the cats. Mm -hmm. I like cats and there are a lot of cats outside and you could feed them and you could pet them and they purr and they love you. This is wonderful. Can you hear this one purring? Sounds like a helicopter almost. <laughs> yeah. Is that good? Oh, that's a good face scratching. Oh, yeah. And now, eat him. <laughs> eat him. <laughs> eat him in the face. Suguru introduced us to Tomo. We had like really great nights drinking with him and like talking about local things to do. And Tomo runs a local taiyaki place, except this isn't just any old taiyaki place. He has his own special recipes for some amazing taiyaki. Taiyaki! <laughs>
really unique menu. Very. Ham and cheese with uh -huh. lots of baked cheese on the edges. Yeah. And most of the times it's usually cut out, but this one kind of like spilled over and made it crispy. And we right. also got a really special one. It's a chocolate hemp nut one. Amazing. This is great. Okay, one in. Okay, go for it. Oh, mm. You're not gonna like this. Ham and cheese. This one's just for me. Oh this is great. Mm. Oh man. This one is unbelievable. It's buttery and fluffy, mm. like the most magical buttermilk pancake you've ever had. You can't just no. order one of these. I would no. actually just order. You have to order everything on the menu. This shop has like personality. It's not just like, oh, I'm just gonna open up a shop. Like everywhere you look, there's things that you wanna like see and, and take a look mm. at. The handwritten menu, it's really amazing. Describe it some more. No, he <laughs> ate everything. <laughs> I fell for it again. Ricky, <laughs> come here. Survival, it's what I'm doing. Put this on your list of things <laughs> to do and come to the shop. You will not regret it. Later on that night, Tomo and Suguru came back to the guest house and then they started to discuss which ramen shop we should go to. Well, Suguru wanted us to go to Dirty Ramen Shop. Tomo wanted us to go to Chibi Ramen Shop. And we're like, well, there's only one way to settle this. Arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. After a prolonged bout of arm wrestling, only one winner came out victorious and that was Suguru. And now we are at Suguru's recommendation for the Dirty Ramen Shop. We don't actually know the name of it. He called it Dirty Ramen <laughs> Shop. It sounds like a place I'm gonna like. And it's yeah. here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got the everything ramen. It's got everything on it. And I went for the miso green onion ramen. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Thank Look you, Suguru, that. for beating Tomo in an arm wrestle yep. and getting us here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hotel, for having wasps, for introducing us to Suguru, who introduced us to Tomo. But before we came here to the dirty ramen shop, we wound up going to this old guy's garden. Oh, did we mention that he hand planted the garden and it only took him 30 years? It's like this majestic garden. P.S. I play the drums. And then we got to play with some bunnies. <gasps> Hi bunnies. Oh my God, look at you. There's so many bunnies. You see all the bunnies? Look at all the bunnies. Okay, oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. I came to an island. I took a boat bunnies, all the way here. Me. Come to me bunnies. So I could feed bunnies. Bunnies, the come crackers. over me. Oh, <laughs> come to me bunnies. Strategy. I found a bunny that looks like my old bunny and he's being pet and he likes it. Oh my gosh, this, is this a dream? Is this real life? Look at the bunny licks. So many bunny licks. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like the best day ever. Holy f***ing small bunny. Look at the f***ing bunny. Look at the bunny. Look at the bunny. I can't think of a cookie for the bunny. Baby bunny. Baby bunny. Please tell me. Come on. Oh my God. I feed the baby bunny. Are there bunnies? No! 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 Save the baby bunny! I need more! Baby bunny, please! Yes! Baby bunny! Oh my god! Baby bunny! Baby bunny! Come on, baby bunny! This is first time to see or touch a bunny. Oh my god! He's only seen them on the internet. He's so small! He's a baby bunny! Onsen life. Yeah. This is actually my first time in a Japanese onsen, and this is actually a co-ed onsen, believe it or not. That's very rare, my yes. dad. Also, it's not just hot water, it's mm. actually volcanic spring water. Whoa. Don't be fooled. Sometimes you can go to an onsen and it's literally just like warmed up water, but mm -hmm. this is a legit. You know what else is legit? Me wearing a long sleeve bathing suit. Yeah. Cause I gotta cover up my tattoos. I'm covering my yo. tattoos up as well. I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. But the question is, I feel like I really need to pee. Is that acceptable? Yes, no. Not if it's a yes. It's probably a yes. My hands are numb. Well, I gotta get out. I can't feel my body anymore. Come on, cats. You can do it. Come. 
Come on. He's like telling you to leave him alone. He's like, shut up. The mumus are here. These are like special Oshima mumus. Uh -huh. And then right behind you is the milk factory where uh -huh. they like milk the cows. Yeah. And then from here, you can walk like six steps over and you can actually get ice cream at the ice I cream like shop. I like how the ice cream shop is bigger than the actual farm for the cows. The ice cream is that important here. Yeah. And I like how the cows have just been doing this the whole time. Whatevs. I really wanted to touch a cow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, mumus. Please make my life complete. <laughs> okay, so we got four flavors because we're pigs. Um, <laughs> and we picked the ones that are only using Oshima milk. Yes. So, yours so those is, cows have made this ice this cream. Milk. I fed that cow and then yep. you'll come here and you'll eat their ice cream. Yep. So this one is passion fruit. Uh -huh. And then you also have a, salt milk. And I have Camilla. It's like these roses that grow all over the island. Wow, that passion fruit is great. You know what? I said you wouldn't like this flavor, but I lied. Okay. I was worried this would taste like really roses or something. Uh -huh. You know what? It's good because it's like, it almost masks the smell of cow shit that's like permeating all throughout here. Yes, go on. It's like, mmm, there's ice cream and Tell cow shit. Tell me more about the cows. I use your You're technique really, dude. Mm. You ate half of my ice cream and I wasn't looking. Remember, <laughs> get your husband talking about a topic he likes. <laughs> That's it for our wonderful time in Oshima. I am so going to miss Suguru and Tomo and all of Oshima. This is completely different from Tokyo, but still an equally magical, wonderful experience. I just, I just had a great time. I'm so happy we live in Japan so we yeah. can actually come back here again. I, Guys, I just left and I'm all emotional. I'm all choked up right now. Yeah. I well, don't Suguru know. like came to the dock <laughs> and we like had. <laughs> really amazing. Uh, so if you guys want to know more information about Oshima, yeah. including Sugudu's guest house and Tomo's guest house as yeah. well, make sure you click on the link here and take it over to our blog post where we're going to have more information about like all the places that we went to. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed. Well, we've had a whole bunch of little Godzillas throughout hmm. the video. Go back and count how many we have. Leave your answer in the comment section below. We will pick one person that gives the right answer and mail you some Oshima Godzilla cookies. Oshima Godzilla cookies coming out of the actual yes. mountain. That's you want these, don't you? Come on. We will mail them to you. Careful, some of the Godzillas are quite subtle. Because this is omiyagi and we're supposed to give omiyagi whenever we travel. Let us give you this omiyagi yeah. now. Goodbye, Oshima. Goodbye, Oshima. It's pretty great. We'll you see will, you. We'll see you again. You will forever be in my heart. Yeah. Your name is Oshima. She's got a black sand beach karate. Hi, hi. hi.